All right, welcome back to Hell Architect. This is the demo. I'm Melomatic. You can call me Kyle. So I want to see what else we can do within the demo and also just get familiar with the game. I've been told this is very similar to Oxygen Not Included. I never played that game. I know it's been out for a while, but I might check it out if that's the case because this is, this is actually pretty fun. So, all right, what is that? Already got the resources needed? Fine job indeed. Okay, so we got to make the bathroom. Uh, let's see. Bedroom. Where would it be? Oh, here we go. All right, we're going to put this down somewhere for the, the sinners to use the restroom. Let's put it down here in this hole because it's, it's going to stink, you know what I mean? So there's that. This guy's just working away, man. I mean, he's just cranking up that, so those suffering points for us. All right, we got the bathroom built. Very nice. All right, toilet construction done already. Lucifer, uh, Lucifer will be pleased, probably. All right, what is this? Open simple latrines card. All right, why? Clicking on the structure opens a production provide tab. We will not spend a lot of time on this since it works similarly to this, the cardboard. The first page is a copy of the torture card. Minus the badges, so really. <laughs> All right. Well, this is the... All right, we're just gonna assign one, I guess. So, does that mean that I have to build one for each person? No, they should use it automatically, I think. Same thing with the bed. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I guess I can make it. I can do that. I can just manually, manually add. So, what? <laughs> what are we supposed to use the excrement for? Interesting. All right, first page is a copy of the torture card minus the badges. Sim levels do not matter here. See, uh, it doesn't matter for that. Quick look at the other side. Uh, we know what the structure produces. However, how much does it produce exactly? You can see by that by looking at the amount. Here, the number comes from one center because we only need one cycle for the sim to be, or to defecate. Yeah, okay. Uh, amount, just like in the cardboard case, is uh, purely informational. You have no influence over how much excrements produce. While on the topic of meeting the needs, drinking is one of the basic ones, is it not? That is why it is time to build a machine that converts excrements into dirty water. All right, so we got to build a water squeezer. Uh, right here. Oh, why can't I build it? What am I missing? Oh, I need more dirt. Oh. All right, so we got to do some more digging. Let's see, where should I... I think we should leave that as like the, the bathroom right there. Maybe we will, uh, I don't know, dig down this way? Yeah, we'll come down this way, I guess. Start working on level two. I'll probably move this too at some point. Maybe not, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep some of the, maybe I'll spread it out. But that dude's doing work. 188 suffering points. All right, we can build the water squeezer now. This dude's just gonna be on the pot all day. That's fine. All right, so the water squeezer they use from the excrement. <laughs> so we'll just throw that right there too. Speed up this time. How much time till we get another center? Not sure. It's not showing it. All right, these guys, uh, they actually gotta build a floor over here, I think, to get across. Oh, they gotta dig a little bit deeper. Does it have to be near them or something? Come over this way. Oh, well, maybe they can't get down there. That's probably what it is. Probably need to do a ladder right there. Let's do a ladder so they can actually get. Oh, yeah, see, now she's building it. Or it's been built, actually. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Uh, done already. First you linger, and now you cannot. Or I cannot even take a quick nap. You have to assign someone to work. To do this, click on the machine. Oh. All right. We're gonna assign somebody then. What is the? So excrements it uses for dirty water. So that should keep them hydrated. That's that's funny. Okay. Because it's a manufacturing structure, we already have skills. At the moment of assigning a worker, a center matching the structure skill will be selected if possible. Note if there are no large exclamation mark in the upper right corner of the building, it means a lack of resources. Alright, I think I'm gonna have to build another bathroom because this dude's just... This dude's just staying in there, man. So we got the water squeezer. Why is it still, uh... Dirty water. Drink. Metal bucket. Do we need to m make that? Okay, so I had to cancel this dude. So I guess I have to selectively assign him. He's going to go back to using the pot, I guess. So whenever they have a need like that, I guess that's what I'll have to do. Alright, so let me do this again and see. Maybe I'll add her to it. Oh, there we go. That worked. Just going through the objectives. Uh, I think we'll skip the discussion about the cycle, just like in the center panel. Sinners are not eager to work. We have to assign them to work manually. Okay, yeah. Sinners will work until one of their needs falls into the red zone. If that happens, they will need to stop working to satisfy that particular need. Afterwards, they will return to work on their own, but only if several conditions are met. So I gotta pay attention to their stats. Uh, make sure you always have structures that satisfy needs. If a specific structure is not placed or is occupied, the sim will stop working and wait for it to be built or become vacant. A yellow icon marker appear will appear above the structure showing that there are no workers. After breaks in their work, there must be no obstacles in their return path. Curious about other side? Okay, open second tab for what, this thing? Water squeezer is a structure that processes raw materials into finished products. The upper panel consists of two parts. Left, what is processed. Right, what is produced. Okay, obviously. Below are the stats. You can see the water squeezer uses the cooking skill. So it's best to assign standards with uh, cooking. Okay, I need to see who has a cooking skill. Mm, cooking at five. She actually has a better than this one. It's her skills. Well, her, her cooking's also at five. That's fine. All right. Uh, provide drinking. Collect. Okay. Now we just gotta collect a certain amount of stuff. We need uh, we need more metal. And uh, that, yeah, that's what we need. Metal. So I guess we'll mine down this way, maybe, since we're down here. That's a lot of coal, though. Just get all this stuff. Why not? We'll just dig as we need to, and then replace stuff with floors when, as we go because I don't want to get too far ahead like I did but I'll probably end up having to do multiples of the structures like the bathroom and the, the box the cardboard box because I don't want to have to like I mean I guess I can pay attention to their icons above their head and then just manually unassign somebody so they can go use it all right already got the resources all right metal bucket now So we got metal. All right, I guess I'll cancel this. Now we need a metal bucket. We're just gonna put that up here. Oh yeah, she can't get up now. Um, there we go. You know, this is coming along nicely. I thought we would have had another center by now, but I guess not. All right, what are you so happy about? Uh, was construction, what? Was construction one structure? Oh, constructing one structure. Really that satisfying? Get back to work. An idle brain is a devil's workshop, as they say. Not that we mind devils here. Hey. Yeah. All right, we gotta open the metal buckets card. If she would just get out of the way, I don't like that they stand right in front of what you need to like select. Yeah, go to bed. There we go. What about consuming food? <coughs> Sorry. What about consuming food, I hear you ask? Where do you get ingredients? I can already feel you getting excited. Get ready to see pure evil. 
I was only joking. Or was I? Ingredients for food production are provided by Flesh Farm. What? A structure the <laughs> a structure from the production category. This is the most basic meat factory. Collect what you need to build it. Alright. So we have to build a flesh farm? Ugh. We need dirt though. We're low on dirt. So they need to come dig this this crap out. Shouldn't take too long. We need like a hundred dirt. Okay. Now we can make it. Right here, flesh farm. Um I don't know where we should put it. I guess maybe down here, huh? There we go. Oh uh, yes, everyone in hell knows that uh, you like attention by now. Good job, you built a flesh farm. Click on the completed structure. I will explain the details. Okay, she needs to go to the bathroom though. So you need to get out. She'll go over there by herself. That works. That works okay. All right, let's click on that. This is the only card that is different from the others. Production type structure are the only ones which do not require sinners. Okay, that's cool. Uh, due to this, in place of cycle, there is process. The rest is unchanged. Oh, there are no sim profi profiles either, too. Uh, I think you understand the situation. As you surely noticed, the process shows what the structure uses and produces. In this case, dirt and meat. Simple, right? You know the rest. Uh, for food, we will go through the entire processing and delivery process, as was the case with drinking. We use the cauldron for processing. You can cook it, uh, cook on it using fire. Go grab the resources needed for it. Okay, so we gotta do the cauldron. How does this thing... Like, produce meat? How is it... Like, I don't understand. <laughs> Where is the meat coming from, dude? Ugh, gross. Alright. So they're just cranking away over here. I'm gonna... We got a ton of excrement. Oh, we already got this meat, too. That's nice. Let's, uh... Who's better at this? Because this requires... Well, I don't think it requires any real skill, honestly. Yeah, blood, small spaces, heat. Blood, heat, and dark. You know what? Let's put her in there for now. This guy is gonna do work for us. Alright, can we do the cauldron? No, we need metal and dirt. Oh, I keep hitting that on accident. Alright, let's continue getting these resources down here. She might be tired already, actually. Let's see. Oop. She's hungry, thirsty, and getting tired. So I think they fulfill their, their needs for, like, food and water automatically, don't they? Wait, what is she doing? What are you doing? She might be going to get something to drink right now. Yep. <laughs> Alright, she's, she's drinking the dirty water. She's enjoying it, apparently. Alright, speed up the time. Let's go. Never seen somebody enjoy dirty water so much. How much are you gonna? Are you gonna drink it all, dude? What are you doing? All right, she's done. Finally, make sure she builds a ladder too. She's gonna need it. So I guess this is gonna be our mine. This is where we'll kind of branch off to like dig for resources, kind of keep our floors. Closer up top, kind of, kind of tied up here, you know. This is coming along nicely, though, man. I like this game. This is sick. If you guys, any of you guys, are interested in seeing more or more games like this, because I really like managing and building games. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I like to mix it up, you know. I, I really got super into uh, survival, first-person survival stuff, because that's all so amazing. Those are like my two top genres of games I love, but. And this, I miss this because it's just satisfying, oddly, you know what I mean? When you build something and just watching it come together, it's cool. 
in a, in a more passive way. It's kind of nice. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking about getting oxygen not included. So I mean, if anybody, uh, any of you guys want to check, you know, are interested in seeing that on this channel, let me know. All right, already got the resources, so we can do the cauldron, right? No, we need more dirt. What are you talking about? We need a little bit more dirt. Can you come over here on the ladder? Yeah, you can. All right, good work. Now we can do the cauldron. And we're going to put this up top. We're going to do the cooking right above that, actually. Right above where the meat farm is. Got it. Yep, shut up. Okay. So we can provide food. I'm going to need more dirt to do the, uh, the flooring, but... Can I assign her to it, or does she do it? I need you to... I need you to move. Can you please? Oh my god. I can't, I can't select it, because she's in the way. Oh my god. It's so frustrating that I can't move them. And I can't select behind them? Okay, we're on the cauldron now. Waiting for free center. So they're gonna use me and produce smelly gloop. So she's not gonna do it, I guess, because she's too hungry at this point. Maybe I can get somebody up. Where is she going? Okay, she's going to bed. Maybe she'll do it after that? They should all be hungry though, right? Like, we're good on water, so... Let's get her off. Maybe she'll go cook. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yes, I understand you're hungry, dude. We're gonna- we're working on it. There, we got smelly- smelly gloop. <laughs> go eat the smelly gloop, man. Do I have to build something where they actually like go and sit and eat? Oh, a trough. Uh, through the. <laughs> All right, so we gotta, I guess, do that. We can prepare it. I don't think they can eat out of it though, so I gotta make the trough, which we need more dirt for. So let's do some more digging. Um, dig there so we can actually build the floor. And she's going to be stuck there now, so i got to make sure I get the floor up pretty quick. I'm using, like, all the resources as I go. Not great. Not a great idea. We need a lot more dirt, actually, because we need it for... So we need 40 dirt, so she's gonna have to, like, suck it up, you know? She's just, she's being, uh, look, I mean, she's been, she's so needy, that she's, like, the neediest one so far. I'm just gonna, oh, do this in a fashion where she can still climb up. So we need 40, hopefully she can get it with that, maybe? Oh yeah, almost. Almost there. Oh, okay, 39. What the hell? Uh. Alright, 43. There we go. Now, shut up. We gotta do it. Let's build a trough, because she's just being a crybaby. So, the trough... So there's where they cook. I guess they could eat here, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, we'll just do the... Oh, no, I don't have... Who's using dirt? Stop using my dirt. Oh, you know what? We'll keep... We'll dig this way, and we'll make it... Uh... Maybe we'll make the eating area right there. No, not the cauldron. There we go. Yes, I understand. Okay, now go eat. 
There you go. Very nice. And we gotta build a, uh, a floor right here, because they're... Uh... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I wish you could fill these spots up instead of leaving them kind of empty, because it's kind of... kind of looks weird. It's alright, though. Alright, so how are we doing on stuff? We got a bunch of food, actually. We're doing good on drink. Ingredients we're doing great on. So, we need more dirt. We need way more dirt. Damn. Last journey. What do we... What's the last journey? So, we gotta do a bunch of digging. So, I need to... I need to put a floor right here, too, real quick. I don't know if it'll let me build it. See, I don't have enough dirt. Ah, oh, now she's gonna be stuck down there. That's fine. We'll just do that. Uh, we'll make the digging... We'll, we'll do digging this way. Yeah, there we go. Excrement. I can probably pull this dude off. He can go do something else. Or work. We need a ton of dirt now. And coal. We need a ton of everything, actually. So that's going to be the majority of what I do after this. Or from for a while. Is just gathering stuff, I guess. All right. I've collected all the resources. It was a real challenge. You're getting closer, which scares me a little. Nevertheless, I have nothing else to do but give you the final request. Build the forbidden fruit. You face the last test. To pass it, build the forbidden fruit. Okay. What is that? What is that exactly? Where? Okay. Hold on. Chandelier shelf. Forbidden fruit for research. Okay. Uh, the legends say it's the very special building. Common. Let's see what uh, is behind it. Okay. Um, just put it over here, I guess. Are they going to run back over? Okay. Well, these guys aren't. What the hell are y'all doing? That's so odd. This one decided to run all the way back, but the other one didn't. Why? See, if I select that, they do it. Yeah, there they go. I guess she's going to build it then. That's fine. Alright, so what is this? Congratulations, you made it. I was skeptical about you, but you did the job. And I am, uh... I am starting to believe that you are worth something. Hell is now yours to rule. Alright. Hey, look at that. If you like this demo, please add a Hell Architect to your wishlist on Steam. Already done, my my guys and girls. Hell yeah, okay, so that's, that's cool, that's cool. I'm going to definitely buy this game. I, I enjoyed it. I like that. Click here. Oh, I, I didn't mean to click there, so that just takes you to the, the Steam page. But hell yeah, we did it. I don't know if we can continue and continue, like, building and expanding. Let's see. Uh, oh, what the? Oh, no. It started me back over. Okay, well, I guess that's it. That's it. Well, if you, uh, if you enjoyed that, let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments about, about this game in general. If you want to see more games like this, let me know. Make sure you subscribe, like the video. Check out the Discord channel, link in the description and in the About Me page. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, but I'm not really on there. Probably Twitter and Discord are probably the two best avenues to like communicate and whatever. Uh, Twitter, I do follow all gamers back. So, appreciate you watching. I'll see you on the next video.